Something that we all were waiting for is finally here, which is an AI image editing tool that can change any particular element in an image, but not harm the consistency. That means keep the subject as it is. We simply did not have it till now, not even with ChatGPT, not even with Grok, Gemini, or Photoshop, or any other AI tool. But it's finally here because Black Forest Labs, the company behind the very popular Flux, AI image generator has released a new feature, which is the Flux context model. And this is simply amazing. It's going to blow your mind away because any issues that you had with consistency are now a thing of the past. So let's see a quick demo of this. The first thing is how do you access this Flux context feature? So if you go on to you know, their own website by uh, the Black Forest Labs people, you can see here, they just released it yesterday and they've just given a brief description. But if you just scroll down, you'll be able to see some third party apps that they are tied to that you can use to access this. So Kriya, very popular one, free pick, but we're going to be using open art. And the reason for that is open art already has a very amazing feature to edit your images, which is uh, a chat editing uh, feature and where you can just simply chat and keep on editing your shot as you're gonna see. Now they've combined that with the flux context model that I was just talking about. So that is a match made in heaven and they work perfectly together. And the best part with open uh, art, another good part is that you can create your free account and you get a lot of credit so you can try this out for free. So all you have to do is just make sure you go to openart.ai. I have given the link in the description of the video. And then you're going to go over to this button that says start creating now. And then just go on to the sign in feature here. Just create your account. Once you create your free account, you're going to see this particular page. And when you see this page, you're going to go over to this option that says chat because this is the new chat editing feature that open art people created. But now you can see here amongst the models right on top by default, it is showing flux context and how this editing tool works is that you basically upload your image right here and then you keep chatting and you know keep asking it to basically make changes in the image but now because it's also using the flux context model when you make those changes nothing will really change in the main subject which is something that we've not seen before so let's put it to test we have this image i've given you the link to download this image that again will be found in the description so let's upload it right here all right now that our image is uploaded here all we need to do is just type in the prompt in this chat window so we were just going to type something like change the background to pink and all you do is just run this and let's wait for the results and you can see that just like that didn't produce any sort of a change on the face, on the clothes, nothing at all. Just see this before, after. Just on the background, we've just never seen anything like this before. And the best part is you can keep on continuing editing this image and build your edits on top of each other. For example, now I can even change, let's say her clothes. So I can just type in change her clothes to a green leather suit. And let's run this. All right, and just like that, you can see that again, if you just compare this and this, you can literally see the, in this before and after that nothing else is moving apart from the clothes. Absolutely amazing. Let's just do one last thing. Let's change the color of her heels to black. All right, and here is our new image and you can see that this also is amazing. Let's quickly go from before to after. We started off from this change the background, no change in the subject, change the clothes. She's exactly like how she is. So isn't this absolutely fantastic? Now, just to appreciate this result more, let me show you what happened when I did exactly the same thing over at ChatGPT. So in ChatGPT, I did the same thing, uploaded the image, changed the background to pink. And right in this first go, you can see that it changed the face, it changed uh, the hands a bit, you know, changed the stool. And overall, it just gave it that AI polished look. So it was not the same image, but just see what happens next. This is another problem with the other AI image generators like ChatGPT that the more, first of all, they're not consistent. Secondly, the more you keep on editing, the worse the image quality gets. That's also something that doesn't happen with Flux context. It doesn't really harm the image in any way, but just see this. Great, now change her clothes to a green leather suit. And by now, this is a completely different person and a different image. 
change her heels to black color. So you can see that this looks nothing like our original image. If we do a quick comparison, you can see this is the original. This is what we got out of ChatGPT before and after. But let's also have a look at what Flux context did. And now see this, this is absolutely incredible. The only thing is when you download the image, the resolution, the ultimate resolution is slightly gonna be less. That's not a problem. We can always upscale this image using any free upscaler out there. So here I'm just using, I love IMG upscaler. Let's put this image there. And now you can even see that we've increased the quality. It looks really, really nice. But the best part is she's still the same. The subject is not changed at all. So I plan to do more experiments with this particular tool, put it through more challenging situations. So make sure you subscribe. And in case this video helped you out, do give it a like and I will see you next time.